Alex, not just Israel, but in general, you have strong opinion regarding politics. I've I've known my politics. I know my geopolitics, Alex. I've been writing about geopolitics for twenty years. Check out my previous site. I had articles that were got political articles that were on the front page of Dig, Stumble, and Reddit. Mul multiple years, my articles were on the front page on the top hits on world politics, news, politics, conspiracy, right? On Reddit before they prevented people from uh, linking our articles from blogs. You have to be from accredited media to, <laughs> to be on the top of uh, Reddit posts in politics, news, world politics, geopolitics, or anything like this, right? So unless you were your government propagandist, you barely made it to the front page of social main social media platforms a lot of the stuff that i wrote about has become true right for example two years ago we start talking about russia ukraine right off the bat uh, right off the bat i thought this is insane this was an unnecessary war ukraine was going to lose it lose so much so many that so much death and destruction russia's russia's going to uh, destroy nato stuff like and people people even right now are saying oh russia's losing i'm like what part of it done like the war is already done don't people understand back then you should have seen it people are like chicho you're crazy you're a putin puppet you're this you're this you're this ukraine's gonna win nato's gonna win russia's gonna be annihilated russia's gonna be balkanized you're you crazy i'm like look people you guys don't understand what's going on here man right blah 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 right two years later oh gee what right so for example alex in the mid 2000s in 2005 6 and 7 i was writing about a major economic collapse that is about to happen all the way to 2008 and then the market crashes economic collapse people blah they're printing money up i was one of the people that predicted right warn people about the collapse of the economy the 2008 financial crisis they call it the biggest scam in human history until three years ago right people were like oh chicho you don't know what you're talking about the economy is booming 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 party <laughs> i was like you guys are idiots <laughs> right when it's said and done oh chicho you were right okay alex look at my history that's it okay uh Alex, no one is winning. Both Russia and Ukraine are losing. Why well, choose a side between? It's not choosing a side. It's looking at a situation and saying, oh, this side is winning. It's like watching a soccer game, football game. Chelsea is kicking the shit out of Manchester United. Let's assume that's what's happening. Elder God likes Chelsea, right? Chelsea, seven. Manchester United, one. I come along and say, Chelsea is winning. You come along and say, why are you choosing a side? And I turn to you and say, oh, what? <laughs> no, Alex, human lives are not a game, right? Ukraine has lost 400,000 to 500,000 people dead, right? Russia, 50,000 dead. This war, 100%, the responsibility of the Western world. Minsk 1, Minsk 2, they signed the peace treaty agreement in turkey a month into the conflict they armed ukraine trained ukraine brought in the new nazis no alex i was one of the ones that was saying this is the most unnecessary war in human history that i know of right that i know of. people are like no there are other unnecessary wars i'm like no man you guys have no idea right the 2014 coup okay the stupid eu trying to force ukraine to sign a trade agreement with the eu at the same time their 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 stipulation was oh ukraine you can sign the trade agreement with us they're like okay great but you have to destroy your trade agreement with russia and they're like what this is before two, uh, 2014 coup right why should i why should i if i if i'm a person i've been doing business with someone for decades and then you come along and say, hey, you want to do business? I say, yeah, sure, let's do business. And you turn to me and say, oh, yeah, the only way I'll do business with you is if you if you get rid of that uh, customer. And you're like, what? What are you talking about, man? That customer is my main customer. I got a gas 
pipeline coming through my country from that customer feeding you with energy and you want me you want me to kill my agree trade agreements with them what are you stupid right that's what ukraine told them that's what armenia told the eu when they try to force that shit down their armenia's throat before they put the puppet in power right and the puppet in power what do they do same shit that ukraine did they lost a shitload of territory and a shitload of people to a fucking scam right look at my look at my site look going to armenia ukraine right there's an article i wrote regarding that trade agreement alex educate yourself otherwise you're just a pawn you're just a tool you're 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 nothing but just just an uninformed cannon fodder and when they come calling for you you will sign up you will give up give up your life for their agenda so many fools did that right crazy sleepy waves how you doing i was looking at the chat free assange jose says we can't do anything we are not politicians it is uh, no alex we could do everything you are way more powerful than what they what you think right 